Hey everybody, Joel Hans here, and today we are at La Calle, Mexico City street food, here in downtown Houston, Texas. Really, we are downtown. We're on Franklin Street. Just have a look at all this. We are downtown. So yeah, super cool. Today we're doing their taco challenge, which consists of a bedia. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's like a taco you dip in a sauce. And then there's other tacos, there's agua frescas. Get the exact details, but super excited. Should be a lot of fun. So it also so happens that we're here on the day of their anniversary. So they're not only launching this food challenge, but they have like tacos, 99 cents. They have, they're giving out, I think, free pozole. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's go eat some food, have some fun. I love Mexican food. And this is like Texas. So this is legit Tex-Mex. Know what I'm saying? So let's go eat some food, have some fun. Let's go! Everybody, here we are with the challenge. So it looks absolutely delicious. So we literally have their whole menu. There's so many people there, so many items. I like it's just fantastic. This is legit authentic Mexican food, and Houston is a great city. I'm so excited to be here. So, Miss Reina, what do we have in front of me? Because she knows this a little better than I do. Alright, so basically I have the entire menu here at La Calle Taco de Cortas. First we have the chilango tortas, which is basically an app And over here we have the costadas, which is a crunchy bottom shell. And over here this is new queso media, which is basically a quesadilla with the medium meat that they have been stewing for hours and hours. So that beef is super, super soft. And very last over here we have their tortas media, which is a media inside it. All these two bowls have consomme, which is their media dipping. And including we have another bowl of their media. So media everywhere. Also we have four of their different kinds of apple crescas. We have horchata, we have we have Vinya and we have Jamaica. So all looks fantastic and I cannot wait to get started. And of course we got dessert. We have flan and also some arroz con leche as well. I am glad she was able to pronounce all those things because I'm Gringo Taco. With that, everybody, we're going to get started here, and uh, I can't wait. Let's get going. We're only going to have 30 minutes to eat all this, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Reina, yes. ready to eat? Yes, it looks so good. Well, that everybody, let's get started here. So, uh, have we saved count of five, four, three, and two, one. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at La Calle Tacos and Tortas in downtown Houston. Seriously, so I'm just going to start by saying this place is legit. Man, it is authentic. All the owners come straight from Mexico City. Oh, it was absolutely phenomenal. Again, I've spoken many times before in any other uh, video I have had featuring Mexican food. You can really tell and taste the difference between authentic and kind of more... I'm gonna say like really, really, really commercialized or Americanized um, kind of Mexican food. And this again, very, very authentic. The flavors, exceptional. Just so much, it's like so many spices and flavors without relying on loads of salt, like a more kind of Americanized, uh, you know, um, use the like, you know, commercialized uh, Mexican cuisine and like just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about what's in the challenge. So as Reina mentioned, because she had the proper pronunciations, um, or the better pronunciations at least, we basically had a tray full of street tacos, which I am eating now, Reina is too. Um, then we had these stews, um, which are like a Mexican stew, which was spicy, um, also flaming hot, um, that Reina's drinking now. Then there's beef in it as well. I don't know how she can drink such hot liquids. Um, then we had... Uh, what they called gringo tacos, which were tacos with like a flour tortilla, otherwise the tacos had corn. We then had some um, bedia, bedia tacos. We can't wait to try this. Delicious. 
if my pronunciation is wrong, I apologize, but Bidia, Bidia, something along that line, um, which is essentially like the stew juice or like the stew, the liquid from the super stew that they make, um, which is what they're, I'm dipping the taco in right now. So they like spray it on the tacos, they spray it on the tortas. Um, it's kind of a big popular thing right now, but essentially it's like a dipping sauce. Um, it, it, it is, it's a dipping sauce of a stew. So they make a stew and the extra liquids is used as a sauce. Um, we then had these, um, basically what this was is like a hard shell taco, like a hard shell corn taco, uh, like taco shell tortilla underneath. And then you had your toppings on it. Again, very similar to a soft shell taco, but hard shell. but everything I put in my mouth just tastes fantastic. <laughs> it's just, damn, it's so good. <laughs> Maybe like three and a half minutes in, really good. And then we had the torta, which is to the left of the dish I'm eating out now, which is essentially a sandwich so there you go that is my as much as i can let's say uh you know for the uh, that is the simplistic uh rundown of the items for those who are not familiar with mexican cuisine um and then we had our four drinks they're called agua frescas refreshing water fresh waters um, which are basically like a flavored drink uh, made of traditional ingredients kind of like a juice so we had a pineapple we had a kind of lime and chia seed one we had a jamaica um, which is like a flower and then we had a horchata which is a rice drink oh boy this is pineapple delicious oh boy this is pineapple so for the challenge we had to complete all the food eat all the food and then eat, drink all the drinks again 30 minutes um shout out to all the everybody who came by the crowd was exceptional we had so many awesome people there it was such a happening spot and it really helped the environment I'll also say this is definitely a challenge that I wish I would have had more time to eat. Like the one that you literally just sit back and enjoy. Um, this is again a very authentic Mexican food experience and one I would definitely love to have again. This is again a place I would order seconds even after a challenge and like everything was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I did mention, forget to mention we had two desserts. Uh, we did have a flan and a rice pudding. Flan being kind of like a custard. Um, it's in, in quite a few different cuisines. Um, very kind of just traditional um, flan here. And then we had the rice pudding, which I really liked, had raisins on top, um, but a very sweet rice pudding and a little bit more uh, thinner, thinner than some of the, uh, like I'm Danish. Um, I grew up with a very thick rice pudding, risalaman, um, generally with an almond in it. This was a much thinner, sweeter dessert kind of uh, rice pudding, which was really cool. So everything's very delicious. This is very spicy, at least for me. But just have dessert, some drinks. Raina's already on the dessert. It's very good. Six minutes. Well, that's hot. This uh, stew is what the uh, the bedia or the pozole 
that I was getting into now. Um, very delicious, really did like the flavors of it. It had beef in there, everything was exceptional. They had over 23 different spices in it. Um, it was very, like, it was temperature hot. You see me blowing onto the liquid to try to cool it down. Um, but then it was also spicy. Like it was spicy and hot, which I mean, it kind of complicates the things when you're eating it really quickly. But I will say just like to sit down have a dish of this, um, you know, dip it in, dip your tacos in it, dip your bread in it, even just eat and drink and relax. Exceptional stuff, exceptional stuff. Again, I can't speak enough to the quality of this food. Um, but that everybody, I think that's pretty much all the information. Um, Reina's pretty much, I think actually at this point, maybe even done all the food. She's just onto her drinks. I'm basically just down to dessert and my drinks. So I'll let you get the rest of the video. Hopefully we can complete it. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens y'all. 30 minutes, let's go. All right, dessert, baby. Plan. Oh yeah, very delicious, very creamy. You okay? One more little behind the scenes piece. Um, so the restaurant, this was their first time doing the challenge, actually did uh, consult us a little bit about the contents um, to which Raina specifically asked for all of the drinks. I actually even questioned her. I said, are you sure you want all the drinks? And she said, yes. So at this point, I think she might've been regretting it a little bit. Oh yeah, this is delicious. Sweet, creamy. I can't see how, how much the time we are. Oh, I think we're about nine and a half minutes in, maybe. Nine and a half. Very delicious, very good. Raina's just down to her drinks. She's doing real well. I'm just finishing this up and down her drinks. How are you doing? Delicious. Love that. Come on, Raina. We got this. Raina. Raina. 
I just move it out of there if she wants to stand out, that's all. You got room? There you go. There you go, stand up. I guess, is that a win? Yes. That's a win, there you go, woo! woo! So that everybody, thank you so much. Huge thanks to Houston, la la la, Houston, excuse me. Huge thanks to the lovely establishment here, these people here at, I'm gonna mispronounce it, La Calle, La Calle, La Calle. there you go, La Calle. Honestly, amazing food, amazing people. Reyna, you doing all right? I'm so She's doing good. Good job, Raina. <laughs> Woo! So that everybody, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry, happy eating. Come get yourself some great food. You know what to do. And uh, until next time, have a lovely day. And here in Houston, there's some really interesting animals. Uh, I found a tortoise, so here's a Houston tortoise. Hello, tortoise. Pretty pretty weird looking, but I've never seen a, a tortoise that's so hairy. And this one's very plump. I mean, they're all pretty plump, but this guy's shell is really squishy. It's not very effective against enemy attacks. Look, if I was attacking him right now, it's just not very effective, look, I can grab him. Big Houston tortoise. What a weird thing. Never have I seen a tortoise in Houston, but big fat tortoise. Hello, tortoise. You big fat tortoise. Very interesting thing. Apparently, this tortoise weighs about 30 pounds, too, so it's a good sized tortoise. Here's my hand compared to this big tortoise. Oh, look, he's gonna high five me. Hello, tortoise. Hello, tortoise. Weird tortoise. Weird. Ow! The tortoise just bit me. Dang it. Dangerous tortoises here in Houston. Hey everyone, so downtown Houston, Texas, checking out Discovery Green. So it's kind of a unique little spot down here. Uh, green space in the middle of downtown. They got some cool little monuments and thingy things to check out. So let's do that. Let's see some of Houston. 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 H-Town. So we have a house of cards and they're playing music in the middle of it, which is really interesting. And it literally says house of cards. Six feet, social distance. So, that's pretty cool. I feel like there's some, I feel like there's some kind of meaning or something behind this to literally have speakers in there playing music, so. But interesting. They're interesting cards, too. All kinds of different tools and hammers and 
shells and things in there. Lots of green space. Here we're right by, I can't really see through the trees. This is Avenda or Avenida? Oh, there you go. Avenida, Avenida Te uh, Houston. It says the downtown entertainment thingy thing. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Let's see what it offers there. Looks like a whole bunch of little shops and restaurants and stuff. And it also says the George Brown Convention Center. Interesting, very interesting. Then we have this thing here, which is definitely a bit of abstract art. It's called the Monument au Phantom by Jean Dubuffet. Buffett, a gift from the Duncan family. And that's what it looks like from a distance. Very unique looking. And it looks like we have some water here in Discovery Green as well. Got some water in Discovery Green as well. It's pretty amazing to, you know, it's all this green space. Then you have, you know, some big buildings surrounding you. But uh, very pretty, very peaceful. There's some little fish in here, little minnows. There you go, you can see them swimming around. Maybe we'll find some other wildlife here too.